Akajuia's Journey into History by Jeanette Cannon. You may have seen this gold-colored dollar coin. It shows the face of a young Native American woman carrying a baby on her back. She is one of the only women on the U.S. legal coin. So, who was she? Sacagawea was a Shoshone Indian born at the end of the 1700s in an area now called Idaho. Her early life was difficult. Sometime between 1799 and 1801, she was captured by a group of Hidasa Indians and taken away from her people. She was only 12 years old. By age 16, she was married to a French fur trader named Toussaint Charbonneau, who lived with the Hadassa. Her adventures were just beginning. In 1803, President Thomas Jefferson decided to map out the newly expanded nation. He sent Meriwether Lewis and William Clark on an expedition to explore the land. In May of 1804, the explorers began traveling on the Missouri River in canoes. One of their jobs was to take notes about what they saw. They drew pictures of plants and animals they saw. They made maps as they went along. They carried with them special tools to help them as they traveled. Everything was wrapped so water would not damage anything. In November of 1804, Lewis met Charbonneau and hired him as a translator. Sacagawea joined her husband on the expedition. Their baby was born soon after the journey began. Though Sacagawea was not a guide on the journey, she helped the travelers in many ways. One of Lewis and Clark's diary entries from May 14, 1805, tells how Sacagawea's calm bravery saved important objects and information from being lost forever. One day, a terrible storm called Sa caused Sacagawea's canoe to tip over. All the men were trying to get the canoe upright. Sacagawea calmly went into the water. Her baby was strapped to her back. She saved the notebooks and tools that would have floated away. Later that year, the explorers came to the Shoshone Territory. Sacagawea helped them find a route through the mountains. She also helped them buy horses from, from her fellow Shoshone. A few months later, the group had their first look at the Pacific Ocean. Before beginning the return journey, the explorers built a camp to stay in over the winter. In May 1806, a few months after they had started their journey home, the travelers met a group of Nez Perce Indians. Sacagawea helped the two groups speak to each other. On the way back east, Sacagawea guided the group along trails she remembered from her childhood. One important trail was a gap in the mountains that led them to the Yellowstone River. The journey ended for Sacagawea in August 1806. People who traveled with her wrote about her cheerfulness and helpfulness. They all said she showed great courage. In 2000, two centuries after Sacagawea was born, a special U.S. dollar coin was created. It honors a brave young woman who helped explore a new nation. So there's an image on the right side of the packet, and the caption says, Lewis and Clark's winter camp at Fort Catslop is now a national historic park near Astoria, Oregon. Another image. The U.S. Postal Service issued this stamp in honor of Sacagawea in 1994. This is a timeline of some events in the life of Sacagawea. 1788, Sacagawea is born. 1799 through, 2000, through 1801. 
Sacagawea is captured by Hadassah. Lewis and Clark Expedition, 1804. November 1804. Sacagawea and her husband Charbonneau joined the Lewis and Clark Expedition. May 1805. Sacagawea saves important information during a storm. August 1805. Sacagawea helps Lewis and Clark trade for Shoshone horses. November 1805. The company reaches the Pacific Ocean. December 1805. The explorers build Fort Capslop and camp there for the winter. 1806. May. The group meets up with several Nez Pez chiefs. Charbonnet and Sacagawea translate. July 1806. Sacagawea and the group reach Yellowstone River. 1811. March 1811. Sacagawea and Charbonneau move to South Dakota. And you can see a statue of Sacagawea, and it looks like she's holding the baby on her back.